Excel is called inductive reactance. Inductive reactance is defined as the opposition to the current. The opposition to the current, the opposition to the AC current offered by the inductor is called inductive reactance. Now here in this case E is equals to VL plus VR. Vectorially we can calculate, vectorially we can calculate. Now this VL is represented by, now this is called what to say VL, this is called origin. Now this is called what to say A. Now this VL is represented by like this. Let us consider this is called what to say VR. Now whatever the voltage, whatever the voltage VR is taking along the x-axis. Now whatever the voltage along the inductor is taken on y-axis. Right? Now this is called x-axis. Now this is called y-axis. Now, now voltage VL is taken on what to say on the y-axis. This is represented by what to say B. Now this is called what to say VL. Now E is equals to what to say that VL plus VR. From the vector diagram, I can calculate the resultant EMF. Therefore, the voltage Vr is along the, what to say, along the x-axis. The voltage along the inductor is taken as on the y-axis, right? By using this one, what is the resultant? That is, the resultant is, what to say, OC. This is called OC. From the vector diagram, that is, this is called E. Therefore, here OC square is equals to OA square, OA square plus OB square. Right? What is OC square? OC square is equals to what to say? E square is equals to. What is OA square? That equals to what to say? VR square. Next, what is OB square? That is what do you say? VL square. Therefore, E is equals to square root of VR square plus VL square. Now, here in the scalar form, V is equals to V1 plus V2. But uh, here E is equals to VL and VR. Here, in order to add VL and VR, both are not in the same direction. That is VL and VR, both are, both are might be in the same direction, just like the scalar addition you might have been added. Therefore, VR is taken on, what to say, along the x-axis, VL, right? In the case of VL, as the current is lagged voltage by 90 degrees, thereby the VL is taken on along the y-axis. Therefore, voltage across the resistance is taken on along the x-axis. Voltage along the inductor is taken on the y-axis. Therefore, the resultant of these two voltages is the resultant voltage of the circuit. What is the resultant voltage of the circuit? That is called E. E is equals to square root of Vr square plus Vl square. Therefore, E is equals to, now, Vr is equals to I into R whole square plus Vl, that is I into Xl whole square. Therefore, E is equals to square root of that is I square R square plus that is I square that is L square. Therefore, I is getting common. Now, R square plus what do you say X L square. That implies, that implies that is I is equals to E by what do you say square root of R square plus X L square. Now that implies, that implies, I is equals to, I is equals to, what is the E value? E value is equals to E naught sin omega t. Therefore, E naught sin omega t by, that is square root of, square root of R square plus X L square. That implies, 
that is i is equals to e naught e naught by square root of what to say r square plus x l square into sin omega t now this is compared with i is equals to i naught sin omega t therefore where where right i is equals to i naught is equals to e naught by square root of that is l square plus x l square that equals to e naught by z of that is l r therefore z of l r z of l r is equals to square root of r square plus x l square now here in this case the resultant of voltage vl and vr gives the emf total emf right ac emf is applied right between the lr which are connected in series now what is the voltage across the inductor vl what is the voltage across the resistance vr the resultant of vl and vr gives the total emf or the total that is emf or voltage next one now how to calculate the resultant how to calculate the resultant means in the case of resistor current and voltage both are under same phase in the case of inductor current is lagging behind the voltage by 90 degrees current is lagging behind by 90 degrees with respect to the voltage that's why right that vr is taken along the x axis now vl is taken on along the y axis thereby now along the x axis oa is represented by vr ob is represented by vl why because these two are perpendicular why because current is lagging behind the voltage by 90 degrees that's why vl is taken as like this now here in this case the resultant of vl and the resultant of vr and vl which are mutually perpendicular is giving the total emf in the vector diagram therefore oc square is equals to oa square plus ob square therefore e square is equals to oa square plus ob square e square is equals to oa square oa square is equals to vr square ob square is equals to vl square e is equals to square root of vr square plus vl square on substituting the values i is equals to e by square root of r square plus xl square now that is what is e value emf emf is equals to e naught sin omega t therefore e is equals to e naught sin omega t substituted here thereby e naught by square root of r square plus xl square sin omega t therefore this is comparable with the i is equals to i naught sin omega t now i naught is equals to e naught by square root of x r square plus x is x l square therefore e naught this term is represented by z of c r z of l r now here in this case there is a need to introduce z of what to say l r right now z of lr this is called impedance 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 is also a resistance resistance offered by the whole circuit lr is called impedance generally reactance impedance right these are all properties of current opposing current opposing properties these are called right resistance resistance current opposing property reactance current opposing property right impedance also current opposing property right therefore the resistance offered for the flow of ac current itself known as resistance the resistance offered by the inductor for the flow of ac current is called xl the resistance offered by the capacitor for the flow of ac current is called xc now therefore what is the impedance whenever you are taking the impedance means 
you want to concentrate the total circuit the total circuit offers some resistance for the flow of ac current the total resistance offered by the circuit for the flow of ac current is called impedance here the impedance in the lr circuit is represented by z of lr is equals to what to say right square root of r square plus l xl square now in this case here in the case of resistor right current and voltage both are under same phase what is the phase difference nothing is the phase difference now in the case of inductor current and voltage current and voltage both are not in the same phase current is lagging behind the voltage by 90 degrees they are not in the same phase but in this case what is the phase difference what is the phase difference the resultant emf is making an angle phi therefore the tan phi is equals to tan phi is equals to opposite side that is vl vl by what do say vr what is vl vl is equals to i into xl i into xl by what is vr what is vr i into r therefore i into r therefore here i i gets cancelled therefore tan phi is equals to xl by r xl by r in the case of lr circuit the phase difference between these two quantities voltage and the current is tan phi is equals to xl by r